vast Russian river mysteriously turned blood red. Then a nickel plant revealed the horrible truth. The Dandakan River runs right past the Russian settlement in the Norilsk, the world's most northerly city. Remote it may be, but Norilsk, which sits firmly inside the Arctic Circle, is home to over 100,000 people. And as of recently, it took centre stage in an environmental scandal that's captured the world's attention. The scandal occurred at the beginning of September 2016. Norilsk locals had noticed that the Dandelion River, normally so lovely and blue, had turned a distressing shade of blood red. And although the river is unconnected to the city's water supply, residents deemed the colour strange enough to share on Russian social media. The Russian Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment subsequently promised to investigate the phenomenon. Its theory that it was the red hue could be the result of a leak from the nearby Nadissa metallurgial plant. Others, however, believed that the colour had to be blamed by a deliberate chemical runoff from the same plant. Others still blame the incident on a combination of the facility's wastewater mixing with mineral ore. But whichever way you cut it, everybody was pointing the finger at the nickel plant. This wasn't, in fact, the first time that pollution had been blamed for weird events in this part of Siberia. Certainly, the region has many mines that tap into its rich deposits of copper, nickel and silvery white palladium. This wealth of natural resources then comes at a cost to the environment. Indeed, mining the metals means that over 4 million tonnes of pollutants, including arsenic and lead, are belched into the atmosphere of the Norilsk each year. Environmentalist Richard Fuller, the president of the Blacksmith Institute, told Time that there is not a single living tree within a 30-mile radius of the Nadesta plant. It's just a wasteland, he added. Incidentally, Norilsk was established in the mid-1930s as a Siberian labour camp. Life for the people forced to work there would have been pretty miserable, and while labour camps were later outlawed, the city remains, to this day, a challenging place to live. Russia's industry-driven pollution problem, however, is by no means limited to the outermost Siberia. Today, in fact, three-quarters of the country's surface water, and startlingly, half of all Russian water is deemed polluted. Groups representing the local indigenous community have accused the Norsk media of trying to cover up the latest incident. Speaking to AFP, activist Sidor Chirpin described a report that concluded that the colour was a natural result of clay as laughable. Indeed, Norilsk Nickel, which owns Nadessa metallurgical plant, initially denied responsibility for the Daldekin River's distinctly unnatural colour. It did, however, decide to limit production volumes while government tests were undertaken. Norilsk Nickel actually has a firm grip on the Tamer Peninsula, on which Norilsk is located. With access to the region controlled by the company, and with its plants located in isolated places, it's been difficult for environmentalists to keep tabs on what exactly has been going on in this corner of the Arctic. However, with pictures of the Red River having gone viral and people around the world questioning why the waters had turned such an alarming colour, Norilsk Nickel felt compelled to release a statement. It said, As far as we know, the colour of the river today is not different from its normal state. Not long afterwards, though, the company performed an unexpected U-turn. Yes, despite its initial protestations, Norilsk Nickel later admitted that the company was responsible for turning the Daldican River red. In fact, the company claimed that a rainstorm on September the 5th resulted in flooding at the Nadeska plant, specifically at a filtration dam. Therefore, the resulting overflow went straight into the river. So when this happened, the waters of the Daldican turned red. Norilsk Nickel believes that people and animals aren't at risk, but environmentalists have said that the true impact will take a while to assess. Norilsk Nickel's statement read, On the 5th of September, after a normal heavy rain, the overflow of one of the dikes occurred, and water entered Daldican River. It added that it would take steps to avoid a repeat incident in the future. The company explained that the short-term discoloration was caused by iron salts and that these were essentially harmless. Time will tell, however, whether this really is the case, and people are already worried that it isn't. Alexei Kiselyov, an official from Greenpeace Russia, told AFP, You can't just say that it's no big deal. Right now there is a Ministry of Environment commission there, he added. However, that investigations were likely to prove difficult owing to the plant's remote location. 
Local activist Sidor Chirpin, meanwhile, told the news agency that Norilisk Nickel employees don't care about polluting because they all have their homes on the mainland. This is one environmental dispute, it seems, that's far from over. In the meantime, the Daldican River is retaining its otherworldly red colour, much to locals' concern. Please share this video with your friends below.